So a lot of my work has, has been about understanding human behavior. And to date, mostly what I've worked on are problems where a better understanding of why people do what they do really helps us understand some important problem. My work uses data to make sense of the world. And I think that's what makes it so interesting to be working in social science right now. What's interesting is that when I was first starting to work, I tended to work with data that was already out there. But later on in my career, I started doing more and more field work. In fact, some of the field work that I did that was most rewarding was right here in South India, uh, f uh, in places like Chennai, uh, Guntur, going around talking to poorer individuals, farmers, uh, microfinance clients, to just understand why they live the way they live and what keeps them from having more income, what are the things that hold them back. When we think about poor people, I think we tend to think about the world around them, the lack of opportunities, the lack of education, all those things, but we sometimes forget the world inside of them. It's just a different mental life when you're poor. And I think if we understand that mental life, we'll also fundamentally change the poverty, uh, we'll fundamentally change the policies that we have. Prediction is something that we tend to think macroeconomists do when we're trying to predict the future of the economy. But predictions happen all around us. When we decide who should get a particular social policy program, which people should be eligible, we're making a prediction. We're predicting which people are going to stay poor on their own. Most of our policies have some element of prediction in them. What makes machine learning tools and, in general, these type of data that we have so exciting is that we now have much better ways of making predictions. In fact, in a bunch of work we've done, we see that algorithms are often much better at making predictions than humans and that by having algorithms help us make these kind of predictions, we can dramatically improve policy choices. If you think about it, so many of our decisions are made intuitively and just based on presumptions. In reality, these decisions, having data and having the right algorithm there at the right time when you're making a decision, could really improve are uh, so many everyday decisions. And technology right now is standing there to dramatically improve our understanding. And then when you combine that with all of the smartphones and other technologies that we're starting to get cheaper and cheaper, it means that we have the ability to deliver the insights of these algorithms to people real time to everybody. I think for me, there's two sources of fulfillment. The first is just the fundamental joy you get from discovering things and researching things and learning things. The second thing that gives me a lot of joy is actually the people I get to work with. It's so fulfilling to see people who are so bright and smart come in and develop into their own selves. I think I have to say that fundamentally just a prize. I think that the thing the prize is trying to do is such a good mission, trying to encourage young Indians to, to go into a career of research and science. It's such an amazing mission. And then to sort of be part of that mission and to say to, to be able to tell young people, wow, this is something you should do, that's just, that's really, there's no other word for it besides humbling. <laughs>